with scalping the lawn, we've gone at a crisscross direction. The reason is, is because this lawn is full of native cultivars. So you've got fescue, perennial ryegrass, and you've also got bent grass. Now bent grasses, when they grow, they have a lap like this. So what I need to try and do, whilst I'm mowing in two different directions, is to get those grasses to open up so they can be cut even. So that's done, and now onto scarification. <coughs> So we've scarified, now you might notice that when we scarified we've been at a 45 degree angle on the second pass, not a 90 degree angle. Now the reason for that is, is because I don't want to chop into that root zone, I don't want to chop it like parsley, I want to try and safeguard as much as I can. When I was mowing, I went 90 degrees because I wanted the grass to stand up like I wanted to cut it evenly. When I was scarifying, I go 45 degrees to try and safeguard the root zone and to protect the grass that's already in good nick that we want to keep. Um, then blow the lawn, clear it up, and gone over again with the mower just to pick up any loose debris. So now we're on to uh, onto aeration. So this is Bertha. And Bertha is an aerator. Um, now ordinarily, you might have seen her before on some of my videos. She uh, is ordinarily fitted with fracture tines, but this lawn's already been aerated with fracture tines in the autumn, so it doesn't need aerating really again. However, uh, I do need to get a bit more air into the soil and I need to create a better seed bed because this is a busy lawn uh, with a busy family um, and it's also doubles up as a football pitch. So actually on the thoroughfare and where the goals are, it's still quite compact. So I need to make sure I'm producing a good seed bed for the seed to germinate during, after this renovation. So you can see here, I've changed the tines. Some call these sorrel tines, some call these spiker tines, but they will create thousands and thousands of tiny little slits uh, in order to create a good seed bed, and at the same time, will allow for oxygenation of the soil and a better nutrient transfer. So yes, it is aeration, but a slightly different method. So uh, let's crack on and, and then we'll start seeding. Soil tightening complete. You can see there's thousands and thousands of little holes now, perfect for better seeding. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna seed the lawn, then I'm gonna to top dress it, I'm gonna drag it in with a, with a heavy duty drag mat, and that's renovation complete. Six to eight weeks, this lawn will look fantastic. And uh, I'll be posting some update photos. seed compost and we fed it with organic granular fluid. Now it's just a case of waiting for it to grow. So uh, we'll be back in about six weeks with some aftershocks. <laughs> 